a first year student of Oforupeni Senior High School and I would like to share with you a poem entitled The Inevitability of COVID-19 COVID-19 is my name I know no boundaries or lanes No celebrity can match my fame Like a roaring flames I engulf all on my path The poor and the rich both fuel my wrath For I am stronger than Samson I will break your economy. I will break your faith. But only if you let me. For can't you see? Can't you see? I know of no hierarchy. My presence brings fear and anarchy. You like hiding your identity? Then wear a mask. You claim that your hands are clean. Then wash and sanitize. For the death I cause is no man's fault, but rather my nature. I am no professor, neither is this a lecture, but only working together can tame my destructive nature. As nations cower in fears, for I grab many victims in a day. For once, they see something worse than war. For once, they see humanity is world fighting for. What goes up must come down. No authority is higher than me, for I break the rules of tradition. I break the rules of normal condition, but I'll never break the so-called men, bend them to the outbreaking point. As you suffer because of me, learn from me and your mistakes. As I go down the books of history, still there is more to come. So maintain the peace, for there shall be no harm. Share the little you have before I strike and leave you with none. Lock your doors, for I roam the street. Stay alert for like an assassin because you may never know my target. Thank you. High School TV. Allow me. Allow me to talk about my legend. Yeah. The legend of legends. The Lion King of, of Africa. If Ghana was to be a sports card, then Kwame Nkuma would be the fitter. Beyond the legend of the seeker, we are free. Literally, we are free forever. But psychologically, I cannot tell whether we are outside the balcony or we are still under the white colony. We were free, but we refused to be free because we're still opening doors for them to dictate to us what we should learn and teach. From the clothes that we wear to the food that we feed. It's like throwing Banco and tilapia in the garbage and spending times five of the price on the pizza package. And when I'm done, I complain that made in Ghana goods are lacking quality and good package. No, it's because I allow myself to be tricked into being a savage to my own people. So just keep waiting. But if our ancestors were to be awakened, they would ask in our national pledge, was that how you promised to defend the good name of Ghana? They would be sad. So we live in Kruma, Awa Umre, Wansai Akuma. Just look at the way we allow them to misuse our resources in vain, or we destroy them by ourselves, all in the name of Galamse. It beats my brain. Sometimes I don't know what to say. For the little benefit of today, we allow a big future to fade away. Who supervises them? Who supervises the supervisor? Who was supposed to supervise to ensure that our resources were not condemned? These are issues we discuss on TVs and radios. Sometimes radio with pains, but when it comes to taking actions, we relent. Yes, we relent to send to them who were meant to them for them to understand because we spend to them. Yet we prove to be slaves to their dialects and sense. Is that really who we are? Or is it the way our educational system taught us? So we relent. So just keep waiting. But if our ancestors were to be awakened, they would ask in our national pledge, was that how you promised to defend the good name of Ghana? They'll be sad. So will you Nkrumah, Awo Umre, Wasaya Kuma. So don't be a gangster. Allow me to celebrate the Nkrumah of our era. So for Kantanka, the likes of the Lion of Boxing, Azuma Nelson, the General Sek, Kofi Annan. This is my stand. What a world!